Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Miguel. Hi, hello, teacher. Reina. Hello, Maria. Hello, Elmer. Hello, Elba. Hello, Jessica. Hello, Blanca. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Luis. Hello, Katya. Hi, Wendy. Hello, Christian. How are you, everybody? Fine, teacher. Fine, teacher. Uh, how do you feel today? Relax. You feel good? All um, right. Because I, I don't... I don't go in, I don't go when the, the, the work this day. Ah, okay, okay, relaxing. Yes. That's good, that's good. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I would like for us to get started. Uh, we're gonna get started with a short introduction. The introduction with, will be about these questions over here. What is a question that you can ask someone when you meet them for the first time? What is a question? Hello, hello? What happened? Sorry, teacher. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. I hear you. Oh, okay. So what is a question that you ask someone for the first time? Uh, what is your name? Okay. What is your name? Very good. What is another question? Um, how are how you? Are <laughs> how old are you? Very good. How old are you? Another question? How old are you? <laughs> How old are you? Where do you live? Where do you live? Another one? Where do you work? Where do you work? Okay, okay. All right. Where are you from? Where are you from? Very oh, good. Okay, so I would like one volunteer uh, one volunteer, you are going to ask me the questions. One volunteer. Okay. Uh, hi, teacher. Hi, hello. My name is Ellie. What is your name? Oh, sorry about that. I'm having computer computer problems. Can you hear me? What happened? Sorry about that, guys. Can everybody hear me? Yeah, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay, sorry about that. I lost connection. Okay, so the first question is, what's your name? Very good. What's your name? Um, how old are you? Very good. Uh, where do you live? Uh, where do you work? Uh, what's your profession? All right, good questions. Uh, everybody listen and repeat. What's your name? What's, What's your, your name? name? What's your name? How, your name? Uh, how old your name? are you? How old, how old are, are you? you? Where do you live? Where, where do you, you live? live? Where do you work? Where, where, do, you where work? do you work? What's your profession? 
What do you do in your free time? Okay. What did you do? What did you do in your free time? What did you do in your favorite restaurant? All right, what's your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite restaurant? Okay, let me have one volunteer. I want you to ask me the questions. One volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. Okay, Jenny Salinas, you raise your hand. Santillana. Oh, Jenny Santillana. Sorry about that. Yes, Jenny, ask Mr. Santos the questions. What's your name? Uh, my name is Ruben Santos but everybody calls me Michael King. Michael King, okay. Yes. How old are you, Michael? I am 40 years old. You can see I have white hairs on my beard. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live? Uh, I live uh, near the University La Evangelica near the San Antonio Bad neighborhood. Okay, and where do you work? Uh, I work, uh, I work as an English teacher and I work in a call center in English. Okay, what's your profession? Uh, I have two professions. I am an English teacher and I am a real estate specialist. Okay. What do you do in your free time? Uh, in my free time, I like to go to La Ciclovia in okay. La Constitución and okay. ride a bike. Uh, I also enjoy going to the park uh, there is a park near, which is uh, Parque Satellite. Okay. And there I go walk, uh, I go running, or, you know, do uh, some cardio exercise. Okay, you do exercise. What's yeah. your favorite restaurant? Uh, my favorite restaurant is, do you know a restaurant that is in Volcatenango? I don't remember the name, but there is a restaurant when you are walking to Volcatenango. So it's a delicious restaurant, very expensive, but very delicious. Okay, thank you for your information. Okay, okay. Uh, what is another question that you can ask somebody? Another question, um, what um, your favorite music? Uh, what kind of music do you like? Yes, uh, I like salsa. Uh, I like merengue. I like bachata. I like reggaeton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to dance. I like salsa music too. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. And um, I like also all these, all these, uh, for example, uh, 80s, 80s music, like in English, 80s rock. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a good question. What's your favorite kind of music? Okay, let me have another volunteer. Okay. 
Teacher. Yes. Me, Katia, I have a question. I have a one question. Why yes. do they say Michael King? <laughs> Uh, because I have, I work uh, during the day when I am not giving English class. Uh, I work buying and selling homes in the United States. Mm. So when I speak with the clients, I don't say Ruben Santos. I say Michael King. Uh, okay, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> that's my pseudonym. You know, the, the clients, they when I say Michael King, they say, hey, what's going on, Michael? How can I help you? You know, but when I say <laughs> Ruben Santos, it's like, excuse me, what's your name? You know, so they, they accept. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, teacher, I understand. It's for business. Thank you, teacher. It's for business, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, now I want everybody to ask and respond to the questions. Vamos a practicar las preguntas. Repeat, please. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? How old are you? How old are you? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you work? What's your profession? What's your profession? What do you do in your free time? What do you do in time? What's your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite restaurant? Restaurant. What's your favorite kind of music? What's your favorite kind of music? Okay, now we are going to practice in pairs. One student is going to ask a question, and the other student is going to respond to the question. Un alumno va a hacer la pregunta, y el otro alumno va a responder. And then change roles, vice versa. Another student is going to make the question and the other student is going to respond. At this moment, does anybody have any questions about this activity? Alguna pregunta sobre esta actividad? No teacher. no, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. ¿Quién me puede decir qué vamos a hacer? What are you going to do? Mm. Working in pairs, teacher. That's right. Work in pairs and practice the question. Fix the question. That's right. Very good. Very good. Ready? Let's go. If you finish, repeat the activity. If you finish, repeat the activity. Uh, let's go, Wendy, Abigail, Damaris. Let's go, let's go, Wendy, Abigail, Damaris. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Damaris. Let's go, let's go. Hello, Jessica. I'm 33 years old. 33. Where do you live? I live work in the office custom El Salvador. What's your profession? I am study the the university account. Soy licenciada en relaciones públicas, pero no sé si, si eso sería. Sí, puede poner eso. 
Pero, ah, ¿cómo se dice licenciado? Soy licenciada en... I am a teacher. Teacher. Uh, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I watch TV and... Hoy voy a preguntar yo. Solo voy a compartir quizás las preguntas. Ah, Burger King. Yes. I like watch movies. Movies. What kind of movies do you like? I prefer romantic movies. Okay, nice. Very good. Okay, nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Eduardo o Marisol. I am going to ask about you. Uh -huh, okay. eh, Marisol, ¿no me escucha? Yes. Ah, ok. Eh, I am going to ask if a lawyer. Excellent. What do you do in your free time? Boris. Okay, in my free time, I try to uh, spend my time with my family, uh, sometimes uh, watching some movies. Um, la flor, la uh, where do you live? I live in Santa Ana City. Oh, Santa Ana. Okay. Where do you work? I work at Ministerio de Hacienda. Okay. And... What's your favorite kind of music? My um, favorite is salsa, music, and bachata. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey. Ahora, a usted sería, ¿verdad? Sí, a mí. Ok. Um, no sé si gusta Blanca preguntarle a usted o... ¿Eh? ¿Eh? Podría... What? Espérame, no voy a entrar. What? Your... ¿Cómo me dio? What's your favorite? Excelente. Nice to meet you. I see you in the class. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Ah, okay. Okay, one more time. One more time. What's your name? Um, what? What? <laughs> play. <laughs> play <laughs> basketball, play ping pong. <laughs> Exercise. Okay. What's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is uh, Pizza Hut too. Okay. <laughs> I like it, pizza. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of music? Um, I like it. Romantic music. Okay. Only romantic music. <laughs> <laughs> um, finish finish um repeat um bueno ya nos están sacando de la sala <laughs>
Thấy gì? All right. Did everybody finish? Yes, mister. Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, what I would like for us to do is we are going to change groups. We are going to change partners. Okay. okay. We're just going to wait for everybody to come back. Is everybody back? Yeah, everybody's back. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Repeat the exercise with another partner. You can share your screen. You can share your screen. Uh, let's go, Wendy. Your Wendy, your partner is there. You go. Oh, como como le gustaría que le le llamen. Sí, María Lucila. Está bien, gracias. Okay, María Lucila. Okay. What's your name? My name is Elmer Mauricio Sala Rojas. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Maria. How old are you? I am 42 years old. Where do you live? I live in Chalchuapa. Where do you work? Um, I I work uh, in San Salvador. What what's your profession? My profession is uh, counting. What do you do in your free time? I play basketball and read a book. What's your favorite restaurant? Uh, I don't have favorite restaurant. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I, I, yo le voy a preguntar a, a Wendy para que después Wendy le pregunte a usted, eh, María, para cerrar el círculo. Bye. Hi, Wendy. Hi. What's your name? My name is Wendy. Okay. Where do you live? Wendy? I live in Mexicanos. Okay. Uh, I live in Chachuapa. Está lejos. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What do you do in free time? I like to sing um, free books. Okay. What is your favorite restaurant? I don't have. Maybe I like it pizza and little pizza. That's okay. <laughs> um, what did your favorite uh, kind of music? I like pop. My my favorite singer is Selena Gomez. 
She's my favorite singer. I like you. I like her music. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, how old are you, Wendy? I'm 24 years old. Okay. And you? Oh, I, I am 42 years old. Oh, right. It's okay. Okay. Only that, Wendy. Okay. Yes. Um, mi pregunta va a ser para María. Yes. Then, do you like salad? Yes, yes, I like. I like. What are you, what, what are you doing in this moment? In class, the English. Okay. How are you doing? How are you doing? No, es el problema que cómo se siente. How are you? Uh, Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm fine. Okay. Do you have children? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. How old is your mother? Um, four, 45, 45 years old. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from in El Salvador, in Apartment, La Libertad. Okay, when is your birthday? In my birthday is twenty twenty three. Uh, of January. Okay. okay, it's all. It's all for me. Alguien me va a preguntar. Other question? What did your favorite food? Um, uh, Gwendy? Okay, guys, let me have two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. Me. Okay, Angel, one more volunteer. One more volunteer. Another volunteer. Nobody? Okay, Reina. Teacher, I don't I don't hear the question because I I am in, in the class right now. Okay, the questions are in the WhatsApp group. Do you see the WhatsApp group? Yes. What are you doing right now? Do you uh -huh. have any children? Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. The questions are in the WhatsApp. Can you hear group. me? Oh yes, of course I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay, teacher. Yes, teacher. Mm, what? Mm. All right. We're what gonna are you have. Doing right uh, one second, Elizabeth. We had who was the first volunteer? Quien fue el primer voluntario? Me, me, me. me. Okay, Angel. Angel and Elizabeth. Angel 
ask the questions, Elizabeth responds, and then Elizabeth asks the question, and Angel will respond. Perfect, teacher. Okay, you're ready? Yes, ready. Elizabeth está en silencio. Quítale silencio a su micrófono. Sorry, teacher. Okay, action. Okay. okay. Uh, hi, what's your name? My name is Ellie. And you? Uh, Angel. I'm How old nice are to meet you, you Angel. Nice to uh, meet you. Too. I am 40. I am 40 years old. Okay. I have 19 years old. Um, where do you live? Eh, se dice, I have 19 years old. ¿Cómo se dice? I have 19 mm, years old. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Very I am. good. Ricardo, we say, I am 19 years old. Okay. Continue. Thanks. Okay, uh, okay, where do you live? I live in, in Jacinto, Barrio San Jacinto, San Salvador. Perfect. And where do you work? I work in, in Colonia America. How do you say clinic, teacher? Uh, clinic. Help. Clinic. Uh, I work. Thanks. I work in for a clinic. Okay, perfect. And Angel. what's your profession? Hello? Uh, my profession, I am a student. Okay, perfect. And what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I would like to travel with my family. Okay, and what's your favorite restaurant? In my case, my favorite restaurant, I have a two favorite restaurants. I like the Italian food, I like the Chinese food. In my okay, case. okay, perfect. And uh, what's your five favorite kind of music? Um, my favorite music is all oh, this music in English. Okay. And do you like salads? Do you like? Repeat salads. again, please. Ah, salad. Oh, yes. I like it. Okay. What are you doing right now? Uh, I receive my class. Okay. And do you have any children? Oh, yes, I have two children. Uh, really, I have three children. My daughter, my son, and my pets. Okay. Uh, how yes. many children do you have? Uh, three. Uh, how old? My daughter, she... No, no, no. How many children have... do you have? I have two. Okay. Two children. Yes. Um, where are you from? Uh, I'm from to um, San Salvador. Okay. How old is your mother? Uh, my mother, she is 65 years old. Yes. Okay. When is your birthday? My birthday is September 14. Okay. And finally, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is Italian food. Okay, perfect. Yes, thanks, Angel. Thanks. Okay, you. now vice okay. versa, change roles. Elizabeth, ask the question. Angel, respond to the question. Okay. <clears throat> uh, how is the name my co my coworker teacher? Hmm? El com ay ya me salí del WhatsApp. ¿Cómo es el, el nombre de la compañera? 
Eh, Nadia. Nadia, ok. Nadia, Rodríguez. can you hear me? Ay, que estaba en el WhatsApp, ya no mire los nombres. Nadia, can you yes. hear me? Ok, nice yes, to meet you, I Nadia. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Nice to meet you, too. Ok, Nadia. Elizabeth Salguero, oh. we are named. Yes, yes. Yes. Eh, Nadia, uh, uh, uh. what is your name? My name is Nadia. Nice. How old are you? I, I, I am a 40 years old. 40. Eh, me too, 40. <laughs> I am 40. Okay. Eh, uh, uh, where do you work? Work in the office. The office. Nice, nice. Eh, what do you do in your free time? Um, I might, I might, I am like to visit my family. Okay. What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is uh, <laughs> is the market soup. Mm. Okay. What is what is your favorite kind of music? My favorite music is uh, classical music. The classical music. Okay. What are you doing right now? I'm what studying are you doing with, right now? with you, Elizabeth. Okay. Do you have any children? I am studying with... Yes, I have uh, one child. One. Okay. How many children do you have? I have a one child. One child. Okay. Where are you from? I am from in equals to. I am from in San Jacinto. Mm. Ah, your neighbor, my neighbor. We are neighbor. Where? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. How old is your mother? Um. <laughs> sorry, I I don't I, rem I don't remember that. So my my mother. <laughs> I okay. <laughs> okay. And um, what is your when is your birthday? My birthday is April twelfth. Okay. What is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is seafood. Oh, nice. Nice, mm. seafood, seafood. It's delicious. La A, la A no yes. se pronuncia, seafood. Seafood. Seafood, good, mm. good. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Delicious. Good, good job, ladies. Thank you. Excellent work. Nadia. Okay, now we are going to go okay. ahead. Okay, good night, my new neighbor. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks. Now, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and go over the platform. I would like for everybody to open section Inglés Intermedio Modulo Uno. And I would like for everybody to come down where it says Sección Uno, a time to remember five questions. You are going to click on this section right here. Click it, mm -hmm. and then it's going to open. Tiene Navidad. There it is. <laughs> okay. Now, in this section, by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular and irregular verbs. Example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you will be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense. 
this conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater details and get to know people. Any questions regarding this vocabulary? No, teacher. Yes, teacher, can you please? Yes, me, um, I have a question. What is the main background? Oh, discuss your background. Your background means basically your life, right? Your education, your job experience, if you have any special certification or a technical diploma, right? Your background is like, for example, uh, your history of your life. Do you understand? Let me yeah. give you an example. I was born in El Salvador, right? Yo nací en El Salvador. I was raised in Houston, Texas. A mí me criaron in Houston, Texas. I studied business I studied business administration. Business administration. Hmm. Business. I was in the US Army, right? Mm -hmm. So, esto puede ser mi background. I was born in El Salvador. I was raised in Houston, Texas. I studied business administration. I was in the army. I live in El Salvador. Este podría ser mi background, mi historia, my life, my studies, my experiences. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Listen to the video, please. Listen to the video, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements, either positive yeah. or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago. And we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past, such as I didn't speak English then. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past. And the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, is slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. 
and then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form, and then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I had to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I, and then this follows didn't, okay? And then this follows the verb, and then whatever complement. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't, and then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay, So the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions, and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did, and then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there, with the only difference now is that we don't have a WH verb, and that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with did you, and the verb in its present form, take. The complement is English classes in Argentina. There we go. Okay. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did, or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question.
the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused. And so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be. And the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice. Okay, now for the next activity, what you are going to be doing is choosing the correct, correct response in exercise number 1.2, knowledge check. 1.2, you're gonna do one through five. Pueden compartir la pantalla. Ya activé para que todos puedan compartir su pantalla. Ready, we're going to change groups. Let's go. Let's go, Elizabeth. Let's go, Wendy. Wendy, you are with Maria. Elizabeth, you are with Christian. Lo único que yo ya lo resolví. Lo voy a tapar. Es que me puse a trabajar ayer. A estar entendiendo las materias y me puse a estar probando, pero bueno, hagámoslo ahí. Hagámoslo. Ajá. Vaya, vamos a ver. Choose the best response to, the, to this question. Did she play soccer in high school? ¿Cuál es la mejor respuesta para esta pregunta? Puede jugar ella en el, la escuela. Ajá. Jugar. Porque si ella era, ella jugaba soccer en la, en la, en la escuela. En la secundaria, quizás en la escuela, ajá. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver la primera. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Uh -huh. Esa es la respuesta. Quiero ver. 
Ah, la, la diferencia es el, el, el verbo, ¿verdad? Que en esta termina en ed, Ajá. la segunda Ajá. no tiene ed. Ajá. Es uh -huh. because in the plain this uh, when you use uh, the auxiliary don't 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 change the, the verb. Okay. Uh, the the verb de la primera sería en con pasado. O sea, si usted usa el auxiliar, no va, no va a cambiar a pasado el Ajá, tema. sí, en, sería en negativo, ¿verdad? No se, no, no se usa el... Ajá, por el, el de auxiliar. Uh -huh. Ajá, no, she didn't play soccer. Uh -huh. Eso. Ajá. Ajá, choose the best response to this question. When did you graduate from college? When did you graduate from college? I graduated from college in, in 2005. I graduated from college in 2005. In this in this case, because is um, positive. Right. I, uh -huh. I don't uh -huh. use the auxiliary. Uh -huh. I grad. This is changed to the. Verb. Yes, porque no lleva auxiliary. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Vamos a la tercera. All right, guys. Did everybody already finish the activity? No, teacher. Uh, yo solo hice la, 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 la número uno. Alcancé a hacer. No tenía. No había entrado a la plataforma. Ah, okay. Okay. That's okay. Okay, guys. We're going to stop right here. Time is up. Time's up. We are going to continue tomorrow. Eh, recuerden que pueden continuar trabajando en la plataforma. No hay límite para donde usted puede llegar en la plataforma. Así que los invito a que empiecen a hacer las actividades. Ustedes pueden trabajar a su ritmo. Si usted tiene tiempo de ir trabajando las actividades y hacerlas, eh, por favor, hágalas. Okay. Any questions? Okay, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, teacher. No, teacher. No, no, teacher. no question, teacher. No, no question. teacher. Okay. No question, Chris. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.